Ready? Ace. During the summer of 1963, an Arizona rancher and former Marine, William A. Gary, searched for a private military academy for his son to attend. He hoped to discover an institution patterned after the ideals and traditions of the United States Marine Corps. He found none. The prevailing political climate of that period was causing a rapid decline in all military schools. Still, the rancher envisioned a school that focused on college preparation while concurrently teaching the responsibilities of leadership, teamwork, and individual accountability. From that vision, the military academy was born and opened its doors to what had been the Marlton Air Force Base to 58 aspiring cadets on the 9th of September, 1965. The principal objective of the Marine Military Academy is to provide a sound academic foundation which will enable its graduates to enter the better universities and colleges or military service academies. The Record Park School is one that will bear a favorable comparison with other military academies in our nation. Our graduates have successfully made the grade and established high standards of achievement in all their endeavors. The Corps of Cadets is a proud body of young men endowed with the spirits of the Marines. They demonstrate that military programs based on the Marine concepts leadership and discipline significantly enhances their education. The academy holds a special place in the hearts of the Marines simply because no other school share in Marine heritage. Marines all over the world consider it to be their school. We dedicate ourselves to the future of the Marine Military Academy. In so doing, it is considered both fitting and proper that we pay tribute to those who have preceded us. Our reputation is based on their eternal spirit that has driven the academy forward. So long as the spirit continues to flourish, our cadets will be found equal to every task in the future as they have been in the past. Our founders, friends, and countrymen will then know that their efforts have not been in vain. Happy birthday to all the cadets, past and present, on this, our 53rd birthday. A. M. Gray, General, United States Marine Corps Tire, Chancellor. Ladies and gentlemen, the Superintendent of the Marine Military Academy, Colonel Glenn Hill, United States Marine Corps Tired. Good evening. What a great evening this is. Everybody get enough tea? Uh, did you? You can ask you enough tea? Yeah, well, I hope so. I, first of all, I want to welcome each and every person here tonight. And I want to thank you for allowing your son to be at the Marine Military Academy and for the trust that you have placed in us. You know, if you want an example of just how the Academy affects these young men, look at them here tonight. Don't they look good? Lieutenant Colonel Dowling was a staff judge advocate in the Marine Corps, 
And when she left active duty, she continued to serve our country, both as a Marine Reservist and as a federal attorney. And it is really great to have you here. Colonel Dowling, uh, this summer, completed a 34-year distinguished career as a Marine infantry officer, commanding at all levels, multiple tours in Iraq and uh, Afghanistan. Sir, thank you for your service. It is really an honor that you and Mrs. Dowling are part of the MMA family now. Our guest speaker is uh, no stranger to the Marine Military Academy. He was a four-year cadet. He graduated in 1999. He, while here, he was a fighting leatherneck football player. He was on the weightlifting team. He was on the color guard. Uh, he participated with the uh, geopolitical club that we had at that time. And then when he graduated, he was the battalion executive officer. No small feat. He went on to Sam Houston University and graduated with a degree in business administration and entered the bulk transportation business. He uh, was the manager of several terminals and is currently the vice president and general manager for uh, Global Solutions, a business out of uh, Baytown, Texas. He is responsible for the day-to-day -day operation, business development, and safety for the largest industrial park in the United States, the fifth largest one in the world. We are very honored to have his mother here with us tonight, Mrs. Maria Pine. She and his dad have been longtime supporters of the Marine Military Academy, which we appreciate very much. Ladies and gentlemen, the Marine Military Academy's 2018 birthday call speaker, Mr. John Klein. Good evening. I just want to say thank you, Colonel Hill, uh, for inviting me to come be your guest speaker this evening. Um, the Marine Military Academy changed my life. It put me on the track to where I am today. It uh, a little bit about my story. I was in a private school in the Woodlands, Texas, the John Cooper School, not seeing the uh, full potential that I was capable of. My parents decided to uh, locate a better school and they found the Marine Military Academy. And after about a year of fighting back and forth, when I was in middle school, it was determined that this was gonna be my destiny. I didn't come down here by choice whatsoever. And uh, I guess it was probably my sophomore year that I realized that this place was where I was destined to be. And it, uh, it launched me into where I am today. There's not a day that goes by that I don't think about the academy. I sit on the board of trustees today. It, um, it's in everything that I do, thinking about everything that I learned from the Marine Corps and from the Marine Military Academy. So if you as a parent, are sitting here thinking today that am I making the right choice sending my son here? The answer is most definitely yes. As much as we want to think that a high school young man is capable of making his or his own decisions, he's not. You as a parent have to make that decision for him and I can assure you you're making the right ones. This academy launches you into a better situation for higher education and get you prepared for what happens in the real world. Because I can assure you that as the parents sit here and you can tell your sons this, the real world is a hard place to survive. And you better have thick skin and you better work hard because if you do not, you will not be successful. I'd like to thank my mom most of all and my dad if he were here. They. Uh, they're the ones who sent me here and stood behind me all these years to make me the man I am today. 
my drill instructor, when I was here, I wish he could be here, Master Gunnery Sergeant Hager, um, Colonel Greider, and uh, Colonel Hill. Those guys helped shape who I am today, and I really appreciate it. Gentlemen, good luck. This is your jumping off point, so to speak. From high school, make the grades, go to college, get your degree, and go find it. An exciting job out in the real world and make the world a better place. Thanks for having me. Please, 